Hello friends, my name is Benaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. Today we will talk about uh, personal finance uh, four quadrant method, what we have discussed the skeleton in my last video. Uh, specifically, we'll focus on age group 20 to 30. If you have not seen my previous video, uh, I'll provide the link here. Please have a look. So let's begin. So we are talking about age group 20 to 30 who are fresh out of uh, a college and they have start recently started their employment. So definitely the risk taking ability is quite high because there is a lot of income potential pending. Uh, definitely there is a low purpose because uh, these guys would have started in, uh, very recently and uh, the purpose would be pretty low and we are talking about a short or medium term view short term view uh, for the uh, for the people who are planning to do uh, a higher studies uh, post one to two years or two to three years uh, uh, of uh, service and medium term if they want to uh, invest or plan for five six years horizon and then go for higher studies or probably they are planning for uh, the next milestones in their uh, life like your marriage and all now as we looked at that so what can be the goals so your goals can be one uh, for educational loan repayment um, now i have taken a conservative approach if somebody doesn't have an educational loan we can exclude that but if somebody has educational loan, uh, educational loan is to be repaid. There has to be a rainy day savings as my second point. So rainy day savings uh, as in looking at the current situation of uh, frequent job losses and all. Somebody has to plan for at least 5-6 months of rainy day savings uh, for, uh, uh, for maintaining the livelihood and as it is. The third point is regarding travel purpose. So this has uh, been never in a wealth manager's scenario before five years, but now looking at the current uh, landscape, travel has become an important part of everyday's life. It might be in form of biking or it might be in form of traveling around the world. And the fourth thing is goals for meeting the lifestyle expenses as in day-to-day -day needs of your rental, your uh, food expenses, your clubbing um, and so on. So in all these four uh, uh, facets, your goals should be divided. Now, third thing we'll talk about is strategy. So, uh, so strategy as in uh, how do somebody invest? Like that is another investment strategies what can be the credit right so what kind of loans may come for so one of them is educational loan as we already talked about and somebody might plan for a home loan or something going further somebody might take a educational loan now for that what is the liquidation aspect that somebody should keep it in mind that okay if you are talking about a short or medium term and somebody would go for a higher studies then what kind of instrument somebody should be investing so that liquidation becomes easier for a lump sum amount and for periodic expenses also and fourth thing is insurance strategy that what should be the mix so for example for 20 to 30 A's group your health insurance may not be a priority because uh, around so most of the companies provide that five lakhs of health insurance that would be sufficient if you do not have any additional uh, or unprecedented need otherwise that five lakhs amount should take care so rather somebody should be looking at insurances from other angles so somebody if takes uh, a housing loan then somebody should be worried about the credit protection insurance that for looking at the frequent job losses if there is any job loss then how my home loan would be paid so for that credit protection insurance should be taken into the purview now having said about all that what we will talk in detail would be about different types of investment instrument instruments uh, looking at in the short and medium term uh, how pf bpf and ppf can be leveraged if ELSS would be a good scheme, equity mutual fund and debt mutual fund, what should be the proportion of that? And finally, credit protection insurance, 
what are the different instruments which are available so in my uh, further videos after establishing the skeleton we would talk specifically about different instruments uh, right from your fixed income your uh, secured income to your equity mutual funds etc and from the insurance and investment mix as well i hope this is able to give you the, the basic of how a 20 to 30 age group should be looking at in terms of their personal financing uh, thanks a lot viewers